Success in the breakdancing world means coming up with something spectacular. Getting to the top for rock steady has meant dislocated bones and torn muscles. With breakdancing catching on here, the group warns dancers to warm up properly before taking to the streets. Don't try to do what you can't do yet until you, until you know what your body can do, because that's where you, you can really hurt yourself. But these are the kids of the Bronx, New York's toughest area. Breakdancing is their art, and the street is their stage. And it's a way of life, it's a way to get out of, uh, as they would say, get out of the ghetto. Switchy, when you see the kids in the streets breakdancing, are they trying to tell other people something? Is there a message in it? To me, it is a message. They're trying to say, well, look, I can do more than just steal and rob and stick you up. You can catch a show on almost any corner. Homegrown entertainment it might be. But around here, if you can break dance, you're just one step away from Broadway. Oh, we, want to, we just want to be up there, have a lot of fame get our names known. A lot of crews, that's what they really want also. Get themselves known and their crew. Make money? Make money. Make lots of money. <laughs> What's it done around here to the Bronx break dancing? We changed the boss a lot. Julia and Thomas were born here. Their parents came from Puerto Rico in search of the land of opportunity. They got the South Bronx. Julio and Thomas, breakdancing is the best opportunity that's come along yet. Home is a rented apartment in this building, a kind of housing commission block. Breakdancing is like our own Olympics. It's your Olympics? It's our, yeah, our Olympics, breakdancing. And you guys are the gold medalists? Yeah, yeah. that's what we're going to <laughs> Try that again, Raymond, try it again, but this time try to go up into a headspin, alright? Speed up. Speed up. In here, Thomas and Julio are the bosses. They're the leaders of the Bronx Breakmasters. One of dozens of gangs who've made breakdancing a way of life. Their gymnasium is this abandoned basement with just a piece of lino and a radio they call a ghetto blaster. Everyone's trying to get somewhere, you know, climbing the ladder. Every, you know, we just want popularity. There's lawyers, there's doctors, well, there's dancers, like there's ballet dancers, there, and they dance jazz. Well, that's our style of doing the dance. Simple surrounds, but the moves are anything but simple. Windmills, baby swipes, Superman jumps. Street names for some pretty fancy tricks. Do you think that big break will ever come? The big break? Oh, definitely. I know. I can feel it. I can just feel it. You know, right now we are, we're going to be on TV. I'm happy. That's that, straight. That's me. That we, means... We're happy for that because we, we're getting known somewhere. Mm -hmm. Not just in New York, but, it, but uh, out the country. Yeah, overseas. This is where break dancing started, with a couple of kids fooling about on a street corner. There's not much else to do in this urban wasteland. Your swimming pool is the nearest fire hydrant. Your playground, the pavement. The South Bronx, with its burnt out buildings, is a ghetto, where more than half the people haven't had a job for so long, they're no longer considered part of the workforce. I got sweet, sexy music, baby doll, and it goes just like this. Sweet G is a DJ in a Bronx disco. He's a local hero who makes breakdance music. It's like a language on its own, really, isn't it? Yes, it is. For instance, rapping. What's that? Well, rapping is a way of expressing yourself through verse and uh, rhyming. First, basically, you need a basic beat, which is this. 
I need to respect. One for the trouble, two for the base. Here I am and I wanna rock this place. I got a rhyme and Sweet G remembers the bad old days of gang warfare and violence. I used to belong to a gang. And um well, most of all the kids that grew up around it used to belong to some type of gang in a sense. But now that I became a rapper and some of the other kids became breakdancers, so it's it's still in a sense it's a, it's a gang or a crew or whatever, but it's taken a whole change. It's no longer violent. Did it ever get to the stage where some of the kids were killed? Yeah, some did die. Some of your friends? One kid I grew up with got thrown off a roof. In a gang fight? Yeah. And out of this mess, we have breakdancing. Why the Bronx? Well, how can I put it? It's like a flower in the desert. Life here is a lot different from the days when parts of the Bronx became known as Little Vietnam. That was back in the 70s when just about every kid belonged to a gang and the Bronx had a reputation for violence unequaled anywhere in New York. There were more than 300 gangs then and some 20,000 members. Well, today, you can count the number of gangs on one hand and the street warfare has virtually disappeared. You see, something better came along. As impossible as it may seem, it totally just vanished. That's very hard to, to it's believe. It's hard to believe. It was hard to, not only to believe, but it was even harder to actually visualize it happening. It just totally, uh, gang warfare just faded totally out. But you still go to battle oh, with yeah. other crews, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we do. Yeah, we rather dance against each other than to fight. Relax, relax, relax. No fancy equipment in this gym where they practice with all the dedication of Olympic athletes. When you do it, Jesse, 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 when you do it, look, you know how you do your hair spin? Jesse, look. Look at him! Jesse, you know when you do your hair spin? You know when you do your hair spin and you push off like that? You push off the same way and then just hop on your other hand. Right. Well, I'll get tired, and the other one don't. Well, you gotta get used to it. That's it, yeah. <laughs> keep that up on the floor. Like your hands, but we're more like that. You gotta keep the hands up on the floor. Let him rest, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it's trying. <laughs> All right, Jesse. We're gonna battle the Bronx Break Masters. Yeah, all right. Remember them? Skate yeah. Fever? Yeah. yeah. This time we're gonna, you know, since they started talking about the floor lords lost the last time, we're gonna get them back. On the other side of the South Bronx, good, in another bad. basement, the floor lords. Off, this is practice. I want you to practice hard. If sweat. these lads have anything to do with it, fame will be a long time in coming for Julio and Thomas and the Bronx Breakmasters. Because we are what? Floor lords. The what? Floor lords. Who are we? Floor lords. All right, Eddie, get up. Huh? Okay, come on. Yeah. 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 Show us yeah. up. Yeah. 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 A few years ago, the Floor Lords and the Bronx Breakmasters would have been at each other with knives, bats and chains. Today, they battle with dance steps, but it's every bit as serious. Let go. Come back in. Come back in now. Faster. Rip it up. We gotta be better. <laughs> we gotta be we gotta better, because be we have beat them so many times. Mm -hmm. They would say they're better than you. They, no, no dancers See, admit, really. No, no dancer will ever admit that they're, they're, they're worse than the other uh -huh. whack. That's what we say, whack. Each group chose a name that would be befitting to them, like the Floor Lords. They consider themselves the masters of the floor as far as breaking. The Bronx Break Masters, they would consider themselves the best breakers in the Bronx. The Latin Rascals. A whole lot of dedication. You gotta go out your way. You gotta to face everything. Up. We wanna get there so badly. You gotta keep trying. You gotta keep trying. To the rest of the world, it's a craze. Here in the Bronx, it's a subculture, with its own peculiar music, even its own graffiti. Well, breakdancing to me is an art form, just like as if you would have an artist that paints on canvas to express himself, or a sculpture that molds things out of clay or wood or whatever, to, in a sense to express himself. That's what breakdancing is to most of the kids here. Thank you. Do you have any knives, wrist blade, mace? In case you're beginning to think the South Bronx is squeaky clean, this is the entrance to the local disco. 
Do you ladies have any weapon on you? Mace, spray, race blade, knives, pistol? Guns and knives are not allowed in here. You can pick them up on your way out. That's not considered to be a weapon in America. Hey, money, money, money. It's four in the morning, the crowd is still going strong. Never slow to miss an opportunity. Thomas and Julio are up there too, hoping to be seen. They come to me because um, they're more serious than the average breaker. I wanted to stay until the break of dawn, so I made my call on the telephone. Here's one group of young hopefuls on the way up. They call themselves the Incredible Body Mechanics, and they've made it to a Manhattan dance studio. They're very good, but they want to be better. So they pay this choreographer to help them knock their act into shape. Their best dream come true would be to have a record contract, a movie, a TV series, and commercials with enough residuals to live very comfortably. New York, it's the city of the quick buck. From Wall Street to the Bronx, everybody chases the dollar. Just the smell of money is enough to bring out the hustlers and the promoters and the movie producers. So it had to happen. What started out as a subculture, a kind of poor people's folk dance born on the streets of the Bronx, break dancing went up market. Breaking, a film about a bunch of kids from the Bronx who made good. For these young actors, it's a dream come true. You see, the stars of this Hollywood movie really are kids from the Bronx. For Thomas and Julio, it could be the story of the Bronx Breakmasters. We've been looking for the longest, and we have practiced a lot, and we're just looking for that break. How long have you been looking for that break? Well, ever since we I started are. dancing. Yeah. How long's that? About eight months. <laughs> Today, all that matters is beating your opposition. For the Bronx Breakmasters, that means beating the gang across town, the Floor Lords. The battleground is a playground on 141st Street in the South Bronx. They bring their whole block over and they say, yeah, come on, we're going to dance. We need a crowd to back us up. The crowd will react, you know, their reaction will be like screaming and everything. You feel real good. You dancing like you might do a move that he might not know. And he, he get tense. He say, whoa, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And he gets hyper and he tries to come out with something nice. So who wins? Well, it's hard to tell. Today, both sides claim victory and everyone will walk away thinking they're a winner. And for these kids from the Bronx, maybe that's what matters most. Just feeling you're good is half the battle. They include crazy legs, devious toes and baby love.